I just want to thank God for this July 18, 2024. But first, please help my humble channel to grow. Like, subscribe, share, comment, any combination thereof. Why? Because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside. That's why. So, the run that I just did, as y'all can see, I'm kind of sweaty. It was so exhausting, y'all. It's like... I was like, what? But I suspect. Now I had run, it was all, it was right at 3.2 miles. And y'all did that like in 31 minutes. So those are like 10 minute miles. That's not, that's not good. That's not fast. It's like six miles an hour. I wish I could just jog like 10 miles an hour. That I'd be, that, I'd be elated. And someone in the early fifties, if they in really good shape, they can do that. But earlier today, I went to pick up food and I bicycled down there, picked up maybe 20 pounds of food and then had to bicycle six miles back, five to six miles. And all I can say is I thank the Lord that he gave me the strength to do both because I suspect that's partly why the run was so difficult, probably because I was kind of tired. And plus, I assume my body is still adjusting to being at 6,100 feet elevation. The, the city of Cheyenne is a fairly high elevation city. It's literally over 6,000 feet up in the air. You hear about Kenyan runners and the fact that they are superior runners. Well, a lot of them, they train at 7,000 feet elevation. So just above where I'm at, there's a, there's a part of me that's like, well, I wish I was at 7,000 feet elevation, but I'm like 60, 100 feet is close enough. Just thank God that he gives you the strength to run at this elevation because, and the fact that he gave me the strength to go get the food and the fact that I was so depressed, I'm a, I'm a say, I said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Yesterday I watched a video by Candace Owens where she was interviewing Alex Jones for the whole hour. Y'all, yeah, our government, our deep state, the military industrial complex, they're more evil. I mean, if you look at the, ch the child trafficking which has exploded in the United States as a result of all these unaccompanied minors that have been trafficked into the country, that's about as evil as you can possibly get. True. But there's other stuff that if, if you can even fathom, and I'm, I'm not going to say what they are, it's almost, it's, it's in a sense, it's more evil, it's more twisted, it's more satanic, sadistic, depraved. God's work talks about some people, they have a depraved, demonic mind. So knowing that there's more evil than even what I'm aware of, a lot of you beautiful born again TIs, you're not serving God, so you can't get your mind off the fact that you're a TI. That's all you care about is your own suffering. And you think your suffering is worse than anybody else's. You know there's people that starve to death in different third world countries. But your suffering is still worse than everybody else's. And if you got to know the Lord, he'd make this, this TI program not be that big of a deal. Regardless, there are people who are suffering in ways. And there's things that are happening in this country and that we are doing in other countries. It's so abominable, you guys. You think of homosexuality. Oh, that's an abomination. That's two consenting adults. People addicted to narcotics narcotics that's two consenting adults this isn't even consent the thing that they're doing is an, an abomination the things they're doing it's got me so upset but god has given me the strength to function anyway god bless